surprise for the Western Conference champion, your Vancouver Again, everybody, I'm Gary Thorne, along with my buddy Bill Clement, as we get set to bring you some great hockey in Vancouver, British Columbia. We're delighted that you could join us here in the Great Northwest for this one. Between Chance scores, and they get that road goal in a hurry. Vancouver's season kicks off. Last year, they were that close to taking it all. Well, they made it to the finals. They can't think about that right now. They've just got to work on getting to the playoffs, and it starts tonight. Baby going so fast, Bill, he had no time to react. Oh, man, he locked on, ripped it. I mean, the goalie had no chance. I'm not even sure he saw it. And he hangs on. We'll get a face-off here. And by number 87, Sidney Crosby. Time of the goal, 14 seconds. Tang to Kovalev. He'll lug that up the wing as he gets to center ice. Be careful here. Handles that in front of his own net with pressure. To Hamus. To Henrik. Two on two on the rush. Quick opportunity. Score! And that was good enough to get this game tied up. That is a skimmer, Bill. Well, he didn't give the goalie a chance to get down with a pass. That's how hard he shot it. Vancouver's opportunity that they took advantage of was right when they wanted it. They get right back in. I love what they did. They just stuck to the process. They know the style and the system they have to play, and if they do it, they'll score goals like they just did. Vancouver goal. Scored by number two. Dan Assisted by number 33. Takes that shot in a hurry, one yeah, way up. Daniel Sedin! Time of the goal. Edler. One minute to one Henry. second. Moves it to the blue line. Big wrist shot. Easy save made. Scores! And with that one, they're a two on answer to the board. Well, when you got a shot like that, there's just no chance for anyone to react, and he buried it up high. I think it's safe to say, Gary, he ripped a rocket on that one. Vancouver goal, scored by number 14, Alexander Crow! Assisted by number two, Cam to Den. He's already picked up two assists tonight. He's got good hands going tonight. Daniel! Time to the goal. Two minutes, four Two seconds. Edler, there's a battle digging in. Thought he was going to carry that deep. Good poke. Needs to hurry. Finds a loose puck, holds it in. It's a tie game. We never know whether the early context of a game will define the game itself, but with that last one, we've got a tie game early. No, no, no. The cows are out of the barn. I mean, this is not going to be a defensive struggle. My number four. Chris Kuhn. By number four, has the loose puck. Time of the goal, three minutes, 34 seconds. Able to control that right at the point. To Kunitz. Henry, arms up. We're going to get a delayed call here. To Henry. Two on two the other way. 
Not going to get a shot off on that one as it ends up being blocked unintentionally. Roberto Luongo's heading to the bench now. They've got a delayed call coming. They'll get the extra skater. Puck ends up in the seats. Man, that hit off the eye, and it was behind the goaltender. Boy, that is a classic slash right there, Gary, and you got to be careful. You can break people's bones like that. Latang's numbers over these few games has been pretty good. But you, you can't help but have respect for a guy like that. I mean, these aren't accidental shots that hit him. He's trying to get in front of them. Time of the penalty. Four minutes, 47 seconds. Over five minutes gone in the first. Crosby's effort on the board to tie it up. Scoring chance in the slot. Kick save. He scores! And it's a goal affair. That one back to back to back. Henrik's effort right there results in a goal from a guy who you expect to pass. Well, Gary, I think he looked for the pass, and it wasn't there. Shooting may have been his last option. <laughs> Off that faceoff, tied up to D, and the puck's picked up by his winger. Cooper goal. Scored on the power play by number 30. Off a one-timer, and he makes the save. To Edward. That one up along the wall. Time of the goal. Move back up to the point. Nice use of the stick. To Kovalev. To Kunitz. Offensive zone carry. That's the goal-scoring effort right there. How did he stop that puck between the pads? Squeezes it shut. Because the Vancouver Canucks are out here on the west coast, a lot of people in the east, I don't think, realize just how much pressure is on the players from this city. This city cares about how this team performs. Yeah, and they've, they've waited a long time for a Stanley Cup. And the one thing I would like to see is for the NHL to have a, a greater interlocking schedule so that the people in Vancouver can see the teams in the east, like Montreal, Toronto, Ottawa, and similarly, the teams in the East can see the Canucks because they're a heck of a hockey team. Latang. On the boards, that puck keeps moving, but nobody's got a pretty good handle on it. Good coverage. He's got to move this puck. No more puck on that stick. Nice move. To Mahalo. Off the wing, back into the middle to Crosby. To Daniel City. around use that stick effectively to control the offense over eight minutes gone in the first the Canucks lead by one can they protect it one timer no good goaltenders move denied to Mahalo takes that pass back two on two the other way Edler Puck right now just being jammed up against the boards. Kunitz. Return pass will send him into the offensive end. Picks that up in front of the net. To Edler. To Dan. To Henry. Crosby. He connected. That's a long pass from that defensive zone. Trying to pick that puck up in front of his own net. Danger to Burrow. To Edler. Gains control. Daniel Sedin's focus evident there. He knew where that thing was going and jumped right in to intercept. Big shot. Off the blocker. Fleury's got that one covered and he's going to keep it that way. Down low. Tremendous shot off the tape. Good positioning with that glove save. To Burroughs. Got it where he wanted it and got it on goal. To Latang. To Kovalev. Edler. 
Trying to find a little room. Laser. Loose puck. He's got it. Needs to move it. To Mahalo. Up the wing to Kunitz. Two on two on the rush. Good chance in tight. Good glove save. He's got that puck at the point. There's a shot from the point that came in a hurry. Double Ev's got the network going in front right now. There goes the arm, a delayed whistle. Team's going to get the extra one out as the goalie heads to the bench. And yeah, we've got a break here as we'll get a call. The Canucks slashing minor, they're shorthanded. Oh, man, this has got to hurt. He two-handed him. Slashing two minutes. Latang's a real team guy when you look at these numbers over these few games. And it shows when he gets back to the bench. There are a lot of pats on the back, and he deserves a really shot as well. Still in the zone. Come on. Rips that. Good play to hold that in the zone. Wrist shot on. That'll be deflected. Wants to clear this puck out of the end. And down it goes. That's a clear out of the zone. Under seven minutes left to go. We're in the first period. Henrik's power play goal puts them up by one to Neal. Takes a shot. Kick save and a beauty. Short-handed unit. That's success as they clear the puck. To Neal. Back. Neutral zone wing side. They'll keep the offense rolling here. He finds that loose puck. Oh, they're in the attacking zone. Pass right in the middle to Hamus. Trying to clear. To Malkin. To Crosby. Quick shot. Handles that puck down deep. That's a big scoring chance tonight with a stick. Gets that one up and out. Vancouver's penalty has ended. Getting over the boards, back on the ice. Teams are back at even strength. One-time chance, goalie save. What a move. Luongo's going to cover that one up, and we will get a face-off. <laughs> Daniel Sedin to Henrik. Needs to move it to Kovala, to Mahala, to Crosby. To Latang. From the point, sings it. Takes the shot. Not exactly where he wanted that shot to go. That was over the top of the net. Now, he was trying to beat him over the shoulder, but he just got under the shot too much. To Burroughs. Latang. the shot one timer effort denied that had goal mark on it to Daniel City into the middle to Henrik snaps it puts the blocker on that that was a scoring chance scoring chance on the money oh great reflexes on that makes the save to Mahalo at the point big shot Hamus that's a nice long pass to the neutral zone. Back they come into the middle to Den. Big snapshot. There's a save. That came from a long way out. To Latang. He got a rocket out of that one. Boy, there is some great moves by the goaltender. Puck in the air, and he still batted it away. Edler. To Burroughs. Return back to Edler. Nice feather into the opposite side. Closing in on the final moments of the first period. Vancouver is standing by that one goal differential. That difference came earlier here in the first. Running out of time here in the first. Shooter got in a good shot right there. Knocked away with a blocker. Big 
time effort. That's the offensive zone. That's what the block is for. Nice save as he deflects that one. Two hand use to Daniel City. Offensive rush, three on two. Vancouver's pressure on the puck tonight right now is the difference. Pressure with a capital P. Done. Period is over. Luongo, solid goaltending tonight. Ultimately, may be a first star. Well, unless the guys in front of him tighten up a bit, he's going to have to be the star. This was a period of key plays. Let's take a look at some of the best. Period number two. Through center ice they come. That one on the tape as he heads up ice. To Henrik. Lugs that to the neutral zone. Good wrist shot. Opportunity denied. In the offensive zone. A little room behind the net. From down low. Back up to the blue line. Knocked away. Great save. up in the face off left the puck for his winger to Mahala to Kovala up the near side boards to Henry he's got a couple of points in this game but boy another one one way or the other would be nice to have to extend that lead to Kovala well he didn't mean to do that but he blocked the shot nice play Kovalev's lumber is new that came from the bench here but he's able to stay out with the line to Crosby That one's going to be dumped in. Nice feathering play to get it into the corner. Good reach on that one. He gets that one up the wing to Hamus. Picks it up. Hard work up against the wall. Letang to Kovala. Pass back to the point. Big blast from the point. Gets that puck. Wants to get rid of this. Big time shot. Oh, save made. He had nothing to shoot at. Hamus takes that return pass back on the stick into the corner over four minutes gone in the second the Canucks lead now by one goal good play to get that into the corner that was a long long clear Picks that one up in the offensive zone. Give him a save. Would have gone in if he hadn't gotten it. But if he hadn't gotten it, he would have been in trouble. To Kovala. To Mahal. And there'll be a delayed penalty. Arm is up. We've got another penalty. He heads over to give it to the official scorer. Vancouver's going to be shorthanded. Two minutes for boarding. Oh, this is boarding, and it's a good one. Not a charge. I don't think his feet were moving, but he creamed them into the wall. The Canucks did not surrender on the first opportunity on the penalty kill. For penalty. Maybe the second time they've made their way out. Two minutes for boarding. Time of the penalty. He's got it out deep. There's an offensive opportunity. Lamar from the point. Picks it up in front. To Lafayette.
to Crosby. Sends that one crosswise. Able to pick that puck up uh, and able to control it. Neal's interception, that's a good one. That is great anticipation. To Melkin. Chance. Loose puck in the zone. He's got it. Good sheet of ice right there all the way up to the point. Good possession right there along the point. The Penguin scorers aren't getting much of a chance in this game because in the zone, that puck's a long way from the net. Well, they have to read that the defenders are taking away the shooting lane. Listen, number one task for a point shot, miss the pads in front of you. Here in the second period, Henrik's goal came back in the first period. It is still the difference here in this contest. Nice pass off the wing. Moves that one on his own stick. Got to be careful. Pass out all the way to the point. Able to hang on with the glove. Flurry's cover up there will result in a faceoff. The X's effort game in, game out starting to show in this category. Yeah, and I hope the goalies are buying him dinner once in a while because he is saving them a whole lot of black and blue. To Kunitz. To Latang. Kovala to Latang. Big shot. That's a scoring chance. He's going to be driven away with a blocker. To Daniel. He's been in on a lot of goals tonight, one way or the other. It's going to matter. Pass right on the money from the wing to Crosby. Got a great scoring chance. Pad save. Roberto Luongo is going to freeze the puck here, and that'll give us a draw. Latang showing he's willing to give that body up multiple times. He's giving it up, and in the process, Gary is helping out his plus-minus rating. To Kunitz. comes in close. Save! Hamuse's stick in picking that one up shows he knew where that pass was going. He'd already read it. Crosby to Kovalev to Mahalik to Latan. That one up along the boards. Good on the intercept. Goes to center ice to Henrik. Chance from in tight. The Canucks continuing to move that puck into the slot area, and they're finding the opportunities are there. Well, they've regrouped because of their passing, and now they are confusing this team defensively all over the zone. The Penguins' geographical search for a spot to shoot from, well, they found it. It's right outside that slot area. Boy, these guys are passing so well. It's hard to defend against. The one thing you have to avoid is running around chasing people. Sooner or later, let them come to you. We're here in the second period. The Canucks have the lead. Power play goal first period to Edler to Burroughs to Hamus to Henrik two on two the other way in a hurry pad save that'll keep this offense going he's got it to Kunitz Edler to Daniel Sedin gets it down low to Mahalo, to Kunitz, return to Mahalo, to Latang. Return pass, that'll send him up. Still has it in the offensive end. Chances off the post, and the boards take those two in. Back in behind the net, in tight, pad save, nice effort. They're on him. Rink wide pass. That one would just roll into that far side corner. To Hamus. Shoots. Easy save for him. Uses the pads. To Latang. To Mahalo. To Kunitz. 
He'll control that puck in the offensive zone. To Mahalo. Edler. Got the wall beside him here as he carries this one up the wing. To Kunitz. To Mahalo. To Latang. Cross ice and in. Here in the second period of play, Vancouver's power play goal that came in the first is the difference. Offensive chance, that's a great place for a shot. To Kovalev. Kunitz. Quick shot from a long way out. Good blocker save. To Henrik. There's a nice play to slow down the offense. To Kunitz. Brisson knocks that one away with a blocker. Nice save to Kovalev. Up against the boards and battling. Got the stick in, knocks the puck away. It's up for grabs. That one had goal marked all over it. What a save with the glove. Latang to Crosby. Trying to find that puck, get it free. Got the stick in, knocks it away. To Mahalo. Shot through a lot of folks. Love save. To Henrik. Cross ice to Burroughs. Two on two the other way. Shot. One timer denied. Great goaltending. Flurry's pleasantries after this game is going to go to the offense because right now they're the ones who have kept him in the game. But if I'm the coach, Gary, I'm saying, come on, boys, keep playing. We can generate more offense. We're going to get a couple of saves. Don't give up on this game yet. Second period of play. The Canucks, they had that power play goal in the first period to take the lead. To Mahalo. To Latang. To Kunitz. He would love to find a way to help out in this game with his team down. Even though he's got two points already, they need more. The Penguins' chances off the rush continue to come in the same way, and they're outside the slot. And defensively, these guys are chasing, and when you chase, you get caught out of position. You open, open up for shots from the outside. Looking to control it along the boards. To Henrik. He's got it on the stick. He was in the right place, right time. That'll be a blocked shot. Moves that back up. Heavy shot from the point. Able to knock that one away. Didn't have to do much on that. Not much of a chance. Flurry's going to freeze the puck here. They need a face-off just to slow things down a little. And we're closing in on the final moments of the second period. To Latang. Back to Kovalev. To Kunitz. He's got that at the point. To Hamus. To Edler. Daniel Sedin. Ooh, he got some gas on that one. Save. He'll carry it now. There's another chance knocked away. Kunitz turnovers tonight are coming at the most inopportune time. Still a tight game. You really have to manage the puck with care. Stopping a one-timer, great effort, and that's going to conclude the period. Luongo's play in net tonight is the reason they go in with a lead. I know the game's not over, but right now, this guy's my first star. Let's go back here in this period and uh, highlight some of the activity. 15% off regular price for the presentation of your ticket star. Get yours before they're all gone.
Face off, third period underway. Carrying up the neutral zone along the boards. Through center ice to Edler. Looks like we've got a delayed call coming. Uh, referee's got his arm up here. Play will go on for the moment. So another whistle. A uh, delayed call. We'll see what the call is. The Penguins are going to be shorthanded. Their PK unit will go to work. That the penalty's a two-minute high sticking call. Wow, this was just a miscalculation, Gary. Tried to lift the stick, I think, and missed it. And that's why he nicked him up high. The Penguins penalty killing unit back out, and they sure hope it's going to be better than the first time around. He had scored on that time, and they did not look good. To Henry. On the power play, he's already picked up one, gets another shot at it on this shift. Nice quick snap. Look at the moves on that one by the goaltender. One-timer effort. Flurry's a goaltender used to having better nights than this. He's faced a lot of shots, not as many saves as he should have. Well, it's unbelievable they're still in this game. I mean, the offense hasn't really been getting it done. He's been average, and they're within striking distance. Orpik. Gets that one up near the point. He's got the puck. Oh, there's a shot at goal scoring area. Under pressure, big battle along the wall. Defensive effort, good one as he knocks it away. Orpik stick, right place, right time. Move that puck out of there, and he did. It's returned to him, to Daniel City, to Kessler. Two on two on the rush. Under two minutes, gone in the third. Henrik's power play goal puts him on top by one. To Daniel. Nice pass across ice. Shot, score! And yet another power play goal. Henrik's having one of those nights to remember. Multiple goal evening, and we could see more the way he is going. come out with a one-goal lead to start the third. You get that early two-goal lead. Does it change how you're going to play here? It should, but sometimes it does. Teams go into kind of a turtle defense. I think they got to keep pouring it on at the other end. Vancouver goal. Scored on the power play by number 33, Henrik City. On a set of two. By number 17, Ryan Kessler. Defensive zone, good poke check. Double ends giving that puck up again. That has been a problem all night long. One of the reasons they're behind. Takuna. There's a point man looking for a little room. Use the glove. The Penguins even up in the opportunity department, but not on the board. No, you need your goaltender, though, to hang in there and make the save so that you can match them chance for chance. Look at the puck moving along the boards. Big time scrum going on here. Snap that one on net. Good move by the goaltender using that leg. The Kovalev. That is a shot that's going to be repeated. I guarantee you'll see it on the NHL Network. Takes the return. Defense is on him. To Hamus. To Edler. To Henrik. as he gets that one off. Loves it. Flurry's got that. Over four minutes gone by here in the third. Henrik's goal has increased that lead to two. To Daniel City. Quick shot. He shoots. He scores. Three goals unanswered now. Henrik's opportunities tonight have been marked. There's no stopping this guy. I mean, he's really on fire. Vancouver's effort. Now a three-goal lead, and we're early in the third period. And the ice is tilted so hard to the other end, they're not going to stop at three. They're going to get more. Vancouver goal. He's third of the game. Scored by number 33, Henrik Sidney. Assisted by number 14, Alexander. Here's 
a chance to get the puck moving up through center ice off that side. Big shot. Nice save. Great work in net. He's happy to make multiple saves. Two the 29 seconds. We've got a penalty to be called. Back to the point area. If you're going to shoot a one-timer, you probably want to be in a better location. Where he was there, he misses that one over the top. And another penalty call. We'll see what it is as he heads over to the box. Vancouver's assessed the penalty. Two minutes interference. You got to give a player his ice, and when you stop him from going from A to B, that's interference. Vancouver's penalty killing in a big part of their game tonight. Vancouver it's been good the first two times out. Let's see what they do here. Two minutes for interference. Time of the penalty. Five minutes, 47 seconds. Good clearing effort. Got it out of the zone. Hangs on to that one in the offensive zone. Controls that one. Chuck that one up as a scoring chance. Nice save with the blocker. Two on two the other way. Loose puck and he's got it. That's a, and he scores! And they get the run stopped as they put another one up on the board. Crosby's goal is a big one, and they may just get back into this. Gary, if he keeps helping like that, they will tie the score. The Penguins' skills offensively, we see a little bit there. They need a lot more. they got to find a way to get their power play on the ice, and if they keep their feet moving, somebody's going to drag somebody down. They're trying to pick that puck off his stick. To Kunitz. Six minutes, 43 seconds. Got it on the stick. Burrows. To Crosby, to Kovala, to Crosby. All over the place tonight. Already three points in this game. That's what his team needs, and that's what he's given them. Over eight minutes gone in the third. Crosby's effort. Now we've got a two-goal game. To Latang. Rockets that one off a one-timer. Nice wrister. Oh, what a shot. Scores! And that's his second of the night. opportunity another one love what he's doing never say die attitude and now he's piling up goals the penguins goal comes at a moment when they absolutely had to have it here in the third period but not done yet no they've got time left gary and that's why they can't go into panic mode and try to get the equalizer right away stay patient wait for your chances to call up Time of the just control. Rebound shot. You've got to have some guts to do that. Stood right in front of that and blocked it. Need to control. Kunitz trying to get position in front of that net. Uses the pad. McCulloch's effort is another turnover. How many times? And this with his team trailing. That's how you clear the zone. Long pass to Den. Quick shot. Daniel Sedin's assists tonight have helped his team build up this lead. Well, so far, everything's going the way he had planned. He is picking up points, and his team is ahead. Got that stick out and poked that puck away. Good scoring opportunity. Better save with the blocker. Handles that puck along the wing and up into the neutral zone. The puck is in there somewhere, but you got more legs and sticks right now working for it. Can't even see the puck. Quick shot. There's a pad save, knocked away. Got to have a little help if you're the goaltender, and he got it right there as he picked that puck up. To Kovalev. Pass right back to him, off and running. To Kunitz. Two on two the other way. To Crosby. Amuse. Save made with a pad. To Henrik. To Daniel City. To Edler. Pass up the side. Got to get out of the zone. To Crosby. Shot that puck wide. He had a great chance. Boy, there's a fearless play right there. Put the body in front of it. Picks that puck up. Good defensive play. 
Off the wing, back into the middle to Edler. A penalty coming up. We're going to get a delay on this one. Goalie on his way to the bench. The extra man's coming out. Save! And another penalty in this game as he skates over to uh, tell us what it is. The Penguins are going to be shorthanded. Two minutes, interference call. Oh, it's an automatic call. I mean, look, he nailed the guy, and the puck was about 50 feet away from him. The Canucks' opportunities on the power play. They've been good two for two, and now they need a third. Got to make the move here. Cook's effort right there will take the pressure off as he gets that puck out of the end. To Kessler. Cook. Delayed penalty to come. Ref skating over. Another whistle. Another call. Let's get it. Vancouver's drawn the assessment. Two minutes slashing. Without a doubt, this is a slash by any standards. The new league, the old league, he earned this one. Skaters are going to get a little room here, so these face-offs become important. That puck's going to be moved by the winger after he tied him up in the draw. Two headlines. 12 minutes, 40 seconds. Right back to Hamus, to Daniel. To Latang. To Neal. Daniel Sadin's new stick came courtesy of the bench there, so they're back at full strength. To Burroughs. That scoring chance, not a good angle. Got the shot off near the side of the net. To Neal. Mahalik to Neal. To Latang. The Penguins penalty is over. Here's a chance at a brief power play opportunity. To Kovala. Rip that one in quickly. Wants to move it all the way with that. To Kunitz. To Neal. Vancouver's penalty is over. They needed that man back out on the ice. Not a lot of time left in the tilt. Henrik's magnificent tonight offensively. Look at these goals. Oh, Gary, what a great thrill this is for any player at this level. Over five minutes left to go here in the third period. The Canucks lead late in the third period. Cut to but one goal. They've got to play some D and maybe try for another. To Daniel City. His opportunities continue to come. His team's got the lead, but if he could bury one of those, he'll put it away. And that one-timer from outside the zone misses wide of the net. He had the goalie beat if he gets it on target. Save made in the glove. Fleury's going to freeze the puck here. The pressure was on. They needed that in order to get the, a regrouping underway. Good job of the D in the draw. To Latang. Good return pass as they move it up ice. Carries that one up through center. That bouncing puck away at center ice. To Hamus. Up the wing to Burroughs. Oh, he risked it back. Chance scores! And he's got a two-goal night as he puts it up on the board. is having himself a night in the uh, score sheet. Gary, I love what he's doing. He's thinking of team first. He doesn't care if he scores. He just passes the puck really well. The Canucks skaters get a big goal late here in the third period. Boy, I'll tell you what. You talk about ripping away any team's chance of winning a game. That's what they just did. Good goal. Scored by number 14, Alexander Burrow. Assisted by number two, Dan. Keep that thing in the offensive zone, he did. Fires it, save made, picks it up in the slot. Luongo's gonna cover that one up for a face-off. 15 minutes, 59 seconds. Getting close to that final buzzer here in this third period. Vancouver's extended their lead to two earlier in the period, and it looks like that's gonna be enough.
to Mahalo. Able to maintain possession on that after a nice knockdown. Units turned that thing over again. He just can't control it, and uh, they're behind, and that's a reason why to Daniel. Units. Return pass to head up ice. Got it on the tape. Two on two on the rush. To Henrik. To Hamus. Pass along the wing. Takes that shot from a long way out. He got it off quickly. Defensively on that faceoff, that prevents control of the puck in that offensive end. Connects uh, one wing to the other. Edler's game tonight has been down up. Well, he's turning into hamburger, though. He's got to keep his head up. And he's got that one covered. Faceoff coming. Man, is he mashing tonight. I mean, we're looking. Take a look at these hits. And, Gary, there are bumps in hockey games, but look at these replays. He has just destroyed people. Third period of play, and we're closing in on the end of this one. Vancouver's earlier in the period. That last goal putting him up by two. They've got a little room to work with here. Boy, well, love seeing that in the uh, defensive end to Henry. He's had a big night offensively, and as a result, they've kept that lead. He's got that at the point. He'll get a save on that. All he had to do was knock it away. Not a lot on that shot. Very close to the horn here in the third. To Latang. To Kunitz. Here's a quick shot from a distance. Here's a long shot denied. The Penguins pull their goalie. They've got the extra skater. Let's see if this is going to work. Not a surprise. They just had to wait for the play to go the other way to get him out. To Edler. To Hamus. Extra skater's going to get on. Play continues here with a delayed call. And he didn't bury it. Opportunity. Score! And there's the empty net goal. Daniel Sedin's got the Art Ross Trophy, and maybe he wants another one. Well, it looks like he does, and don't bet against him. Winger moves in to pick up that puck. Good tie-up in the face-off. Vancouver goal. Scored by number 22, Daniel by number two, Dan. Brings that into the zone. In the shot. Flurry's got that one, and he'll hang on. Time of the goal, 19 minutes, 33 seconds. Letang. Those two come together along the boards. Pokes that away. Breaks it up in the zone. Looking to clear. He's got it on his stick. We finish this one. Put it in the record books. Vancouver's got the victory. That will be their first of this young season. Last year, they ended up number one. Well, the best overall record won them the President's Trophy. It's not going to be easy. When you're on top, people always want to drag you down. Here's an opportunity to look at some of the big plays that were made in this game. 